Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Hello, everyone. Hi. Merry freaking Christmas. I come bearing a giant Christmas box from you, baby. So festively wrapped in DHL packing tape. Oh my God, heavy. <sighs> Hello, my dear friends. I hope you are having a fantastic holiday season so far. No matter your holiday, I hope you are having a nice cozy time. I'm feeling like particularly excited this holiday season. I'm not sure why, like this, this Christmas has been feeling a little more festive, a little more special, a little bit more like, I'm just excited for it. I don't know, it could be the little babies in the family that make Christmas, like that little whole spark come back to life. Actually, did I even tell YouTube about that? <laughs> I think so, did I? Wait. <laughs> well, if not, like TLDR, uh, two of my sisters had babies five weeks apart um, in August and September and it's been very fun. One of my favorite things about Christmas is like our Christmas traditions that we do every year and that we have been doing since I was a little teeny tot. I'm, I'm such a sucker <laughs> for like that sort of like family tradition stuff. I love it so, so much. I don't know, I'm just feeling bushy about our little traditions. Speaking of traditions, hey, what a segue, what a segue. I feel like as long as you do something more than once, you can call it a tradition. So, hey, we are here with our Christmas Uvimi wig haul. Segue, how do you like it? <laughs> it's not just any Uvimi wig haul. <laughs> in case you forgot it's a big one we have so many wigs here to try on today so let's not waste any time this video is sponsored by Uvimi so Uvimi thanks so much for sponsoring today's video I can't wait to tell everyone about this collection because whoo <laughs> they are celebrating their seven anniversary <laughs> their seven year birthday Happy anniversary birthday, you baby. So they have made this whole collection to celebrate that, to celebrate seven years of existence. So congratulations, you baby. They have made this whole entire series. Actually, it's like a two-parter series. They have their daily wigs and they have their color wig series. All in all, I think it's about 36 wigs. They have sent me, I think, the entire color series. Okay, wait, hold on. I didn't even tell you the best part. The best part about this series, it's not even that there's 36 brand new designs, it's that they are priced between 10 and $20, period. Like every wig in this series is under $20. <laughs> what? That is like shockingly like the lowest price for a wig that I've ever even heard of. What? 10 and $20, you heard me right. And I have a discount code for you. So uh, yeah, stick around to hear that. So we're gonna be putting the color series to the test. We are gonna find out the flash test. We are going to do weft checks. We are going to do like style checks, the whole thing, you know, find out which one of these wigs is worth your 20 dollars i cannot get over that when you baby told me that about this video i was like yes send them over <laughs> like you guys are gonna want to see these on like put our little hat on our detective hat that's also a santa hat because maybe you want these for christmas i don't know i don't know what you want without further ado this actually feels like christmas <laughs> oh my god they're numbered in here there's 19 wigs in here. It doesn't look like they're in numerical order. I'm just gonna grab them off the top, which is probably gonna drive half of you out of your mind crazy. I'm gonna be like, okay, we're starting with 16 and then 14 and then 19 and then seven and then, <laughs> sorry. I'm just gonna grab them out. There was a light pink wig just sitting on top, calling my name. Okay, so this is, <laughs> we're gonna start off with wig number 16 from the Pampering Fan color series. I love this color. It's like a soft baby pink. Oh my God, this is like my wedding hair color. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh my God, it's so pretty. And it's actually like so super soft. It's really soft. This wig, this wig, you guys, $18.99. <laughs> it's soft. The color is beautiful. It has wispy bangs, which, oh, if you have not seen my last video and you want to hear me complain about bangs for 45 minutes, <laughs> just ha 
hop on over. <laughs> this though these are the kind of things that i like on wigs the little wispy ones that are not in my way i am just like currently in disbelief <laughs> i'm in disbelief because it's soft it's silky it doesn't feel like a wig that you would expect to be 18 dollars. like in my mind an 18 dollar wig is either like plasticky super shiny costume wig you know that you would get for like one night out at halloween or like super rough straw feeling wig. This is soft and silky and $18. This is blowing my mind already. Um, oh my God, I love doing these. <laughs> okay, all right. So the cap construction here of number 16 has two little snappy combs in it. Y'all, <laughs> this wig is $18. <laughs> cute and sweet like literally wig reviews is like what I do you know like this this is my my bread and butter here and I am at a loss for words on the very first out of 19 wigs because I cannot believe that this wig is $18 and we have a discount code it's so pretty Um, <laughs> what? The color is like a nice, super soft baby pink. It's like delightful. It's totally my wedding hair color pink. Hold on, I wanna get my crown. Ooh, hold on. Ma'am, I am sitting there. Ma'am, <laughs> scoot along. Yeti, what do you think? Do you love this wig? This is such an Alexa wig. Like, such an Alexa wig. It's this perfect soft pastel baby pink. Okay, let's put it to a couple of tests real quick. I guess I have to take the crown off, even though, honestly, living. Living for this. <laughs> and we are gonna do ourselves a little flash test. This is a pastel light colored wig. So these tests are going to be particularly useful in deciding if this wig is for you or not. A lot of times light colored wigs have issues with wefts and synthetic wigs, especially certain colors, have an issue with shine when you shine a flash on it. So we're gonna be testing those. Oh my God, Yeti, you need to relax my sweet. <laughs> So we are going to be testing those things out with these Uvimi wigs, especially because of the price point that they are at, which is just so low. <laughs> so low. $18. Okay. If only you could see Yeti right now. Let me show you. Yeah, you think I have all of this important stuff on this desk in front of me? <laughs> Literally, Yeti and a crown. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah, so cute. And like information about the wigs. And the wigs. Okay, so we're gonna start with a flash test for number 16. Okay, so the wig has a little bit of a synthetic shine. Not bad, not bad. You can decide if that's too much for you, but for me, I feel like for a wig this color, I, I take no issue with that at all. The wefts in the back is where I particularly like, what are we gonna find? All right, so from what I can see here, it really doesn't look bad. There's no like blaring wefts as far as I can see. Blaring? Glaring? What's the word? <laughs> it doesn't look bad as far as I can tell. I would say for me, number 16 at the price point of $18.99 um, is a yes. Def like, like without a second thought, totally a yes. <laughs> Okay, so let's grab the next wig from our box. We have so many to get through, so we're gonna try to keep it, keep it moving today. Up next is number 19. One of the fun things about doing like huge unboxings like this is that I cannot remember like <laughs> what all of these wigs look like and especially not just by like number identifier. So I have no idea what is going on inside of this 19 bag. It just looks like a black wig maybe or like a dark colored wig. Let's jump in and find out. Boom, exciting, exciting. <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is still like all wrapped up in this little bag, but this is an amazing, like, wooden electric blue that contrasted with the black. Whoa. Sometimes when black and blue are comboed in a wig, 
you can lose the blue like it can be hard to see it against the black but dude but that is not the case with this wig this blue is like glowing against the black whoa wait what is the style now that I'm like I'm so like just like entranced but now that I'm looking at it here I'm like okay so this is what we got here we have short bangs we have like a hime cut kind of like a shorter layer here but the layer goes all the way around it's like a bob with like a lot of hair after the fact <laughs> this one looks a little bit more like a party I'm excited to see what it looks like okay so number 19 here is $19.99 and it also has two little snap comb clips on the side and sizing straps on the back. I am so interested to see what this is because we clearly have a little bob happening here. But, <laughs> but wait, there's more. We have all of this back here, which like, okay, hold on. Oh! This is fun. Wait, I kind of like this. I feel like this cut is not going to be for everyone. I know there are people out there watching like, this is not for me. <laughs> that is okay. Um, I love an adventurous hair. I have another wig actually that has like some long pieces that don't seem to fit in <laughs> with the rest of the hair. And I love that wig. I know a lot of people when I first reviewed that were like, what the hell? <laughs> what is that wig but it makes me feel like a video game character it makes me feel like i'm in an anime or like i'm in a cartoon or like i'm in like a world famous rock band or something like just interesting it, it looks like it has a story to tell and i love that i understand if it's not for you that's fine but for me if i find a style that's like fresh to me as someone who has like hundreds of wigs here for it i'm here for that <laughs> Quality wise for our wig, which is $19.99, it's very, very soft. I love, love the color combination of this like vibrant blue. I think the style is super fun, but I understand if it's not for you. It's definitely like, it's a little bit out there, but I think it's really fun. Also, I kind of think that at the price point of $19.99, if you like the colors of this, but not the style, you could probably like get it and cut this part off. It's like if I show you the back with these parts pulled forward, you can see that there is like a bob cut in here already. So I don't think it would actually be all that difficult. You just follow what's already there um, if you wanted to take this extra length off. And then you could use this length to make extensions and then make them into puff balls up on top of your head. Okay, just an idea, just an idea. But I personally like it as these long extra pieces down here. I think it's fun and different and creative and I love to see it. Okay, so let's see. Synthetic black is notoriously tricky for failing the flash test. Let's see, okay, my camera <laughs> doesn't quite know what to do with this, <laughs> the, the, the black against the black room. I feel like it makes it look a little bit gray, uh, but I don't think it looks gray in person like at all. Do you guys think it looks gray? Oh my God, I love this blue. Okay, <laughs> um, we'll have to check. Silky smooth, looks good to me. All right, number 19. All right, what do we got next? We are switching gears and going to 14, which is a blonde wig. It's about as different as can be from the wig that is currently on my head. <laughs> so let's see what she looks like. Ooh, I love when I open up a wig and it has like additional pieces. Whoa, this looks long and swirly curly. What are you? Yay! Oh, I know what this wig is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've been excited for this one. I was wondering so much about how this wig would be because um, I will pop the product photo up right here of this wig. We have talked time and time again about companies that have wigs that are styled um, in their product photos. Like, you know, the first one that we did, 16, that light pink one, Here's the product photo for that. You can see it, it's kind of styled already. And sometimes when the wig is styled in the product photo, it can be a little bit confusing about what the wig actually looks like. This one, I had a question about that because, because it looks like it's a long blonde wig that's up in pigtails, right? And I was like, but is it? <laughs> or is it, does it, does it look like this? Is this how it looks or is it styled? I think we have our answer. I was 
hoping it would be like this. Oh, I'm excited. Hold on, let's see how much this one is. This wig is $18.99. It is a little blonde. <gasps> Cute! Um, you see these little curls just boop on out of here? Um, adorable. I love this shade of blonde. It has nice little wispy bangs. It has like a little like short little back here. I'm putting this on right now. I'm <laughs> so excited about this one. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this black one was so fun and zazzy as well. Okay, wait, what's your deal in here? Yep, same as the others. It has two snappy clips here and a sizing strap in the back. Okay, so first impressions on this one is that the bangs are a little bit long. I feel like if I wanted to slide it back to make them a length that, that is more comfortable, which would be more like that, you can see a little bit of my hair through the bangs since they're so light here. But I think what I'll end up doing is just trimming a little bit off of those bangs so I can sit the whole thing forward a little bit, which would cover up the little bit of dark roots that's peeking through these light blonde bangs. But I love this, a little wispy bang that just sits right at your eyebrows, like, yes. Yes, okay, so here is the base wig for number, oh god, 14. <laughs> the most chaotic order that I possibly could go in. But this is the base wig for number 14. Um, I really like short hair, personally, so I would maybe consider wearing this just on its own. I know that's not really how it's like intended to wear, but I really have such a soft spot for short hair wig. I would probably like pop my little ear through like that. Like this sits really nice and flat on the back of my head. This is like, if you're a short hair type of person, but then you have like some fancy thing to go to, like this base wig is kind of slaying not just on its own. Let's see it as, as it was intended with these pigtails. All right, so here are the two pigtails. They are just like long straight pigtails with just a, the slightest little curl at the end of them. And we are gonna just clip them on. Um, you know what this looks like? Okay, there's a couple things. <laughs> I feel like Baby Spice. This is so cute. Actually, you know what this wig would be really good for? I know, here, I can tell you firsthand that finding a good Sailor Moon cosplay wig is really hard to, to do. Sometimes they can come out like a little bit funky, you know? <laughs> or they can be hella expensive. So I would say if you are a Sailor Moon cosplayer and you're doing more of like a natural blonde kind of version rather than like that yellowy blonde, this might be an option for you or like a, a Misa from Death Note or like any like a lot <laughs> a lot of characters you could use this wig for because not only is it very very cute oh wait we need to look at the back I feel like that is a, that is a make or break for this kind of wig so let's take a little gander back here at the back and see if it looks weird or see if it looks cute Okay, so here it is from the back. I am seeing a little bit of wefting, like right here, kind of where my ponytail is. I wonder if we can kind of like play around with that and like if you shake it up, if it will go away. Yeah, I don't know. I, it looked to me like you might be able to see some wefting happening in there. But if you are looking for a cute, soft, blonde cosplay wig, or non-cosplay, but I know this this kind of style especially speaks to the cosplayers out there. There's so many characters that have this kind of hair. Um, if you're looking for a wig like that that's under $20, $18.99, it's going to be hard to beat this, I think. Oh, let's do a flash test real quick before we move on. Cute. 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 So for me, this one has like a little bit of a caveat. I need to, to trim the bangs a little bit and I might want to play around a little bit with the back to see about those wefts. But I would say for what this is, for this price, like it's going to be hard to beat this. Okay, should we see what's next? This one is number 15 and it has rainbow. It has like blues and orange in there. Ha! Whoa! Whoa! It's like aquatic. It reminds me of water, how it's like, just so, it almost, it's not like random, but it feels like organically mixed in here, I guess. And we have blue roots up here, blue, greens, and oranges sort of blended at the top. Can you guys see the orange up here? Yeah. You are number 15, which is $19.99. Two snappy clips here. What's interesting is I don't know that if I was looking at that product photo right there, that 
I don't think I would know that there was orange blended in this. So like cool with the, the blue and the green. The orange is like a really cool balance. It warms it back up and it adds just like a little, it adds a little something, you know? It just adds like a little touch of something in there. Okay, this is beautiful. This hair feels so aquatic to me because I think it's a, it's like a combination, right? Like I know I often say blue wigs feel aquatic and like that's just, that's just the mermaid in my head talking here. <laughs> but I think what makes this one especially feel so aquatic to me is the blues and the greens, but then the orange kind of feels like a sunset over a lake or the ocean or something. But then these loose curls feel very like the movement of water, the way that it's not just immediately all faded down from like blonde to blue. It's like it's staggered and and like parts of them have blonde that go all the way down and then some of them are like blue that goes all the way up here. Like it just feels very varied, very varied. And that reminds me of water. You know, you can never step in the same river twice. That, that whole, that whole thing. <laughs> this wig is inspiring me. I feel like I have just ideas popping in my little brain, like boo, 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 by looking at this wig. Pretty. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Yes, pass the flash test. How are these wefts? Once again, we're looking at a very light wig. So cross those fingies. You guys see anything up there? I don't think I see any. And $19.99. What the heck? <laughs> You're starting strong. Yes. Okay, let's mix it up a little bit. We'll go for a brown one here. This is number 18. And she looks like a nice, ooh, this is a pretty shade of brown. What a super nice brown. I feel like on camera here, it looks a little bit warmer than it does like to my eye right now. Almost like if you mix brown and gray. It's really interesting. So this is wig number 18. It is $18.99. Oh, interesting. We have our first plot twist. This is why we check every time. This one does not have any combs in it. Interesting. This one is actually a pretty natural looking wig for the color series. I feel like this one would probably be better suited for the daily series because this is beautiful, first of all. <laughs> but um, doesn't have any sort of like spicy hair colors in here or anything too elaborate about the style or anything like that. I feel like it might be a little bit out of place in the series, but I'm glad to have it. <laughs> I'm glad it's in the color series because they snuck that one in here because this is really pretty. This shade of brown, maybe you'll be able to see the color better in the flash test. Let's try that. Yeah, you can kind of see here that it's not as like warm tone, except it looks a lot lighter <laughs> with the flash on. Oh my gosh, are we gonna be able to find a perfect representation of this color? I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. Looks pretty, it looks really pretty. Okay, so this one looks like fun. Kind of see that it has like either like a blonde silvery color up top and it fades to like something like darker black or something like that. This is number 17. Black, just wait till you see it. It's still in the net here, but this black is such a deep dark black. It's a satisfying black. <laughs> Look at that fade. Oh, interested to see about this. This weft here, it might fill out once my head is inside of it, so we'll see. The fade is so nice. I feel like this is a hard fade to do. It's like about as light as you can go to about as dark as you can go. And this is seamless, it's beautiful, it's quick. You know what this is reminding me of? I have a wig from Uvimi that is sort of like this. I love it. I've had that wig for a long time and I still wear it all the time. And now I have a version that has like some curl to the bottom of it. Also, I love how these bangs, the bangs also go from the light white color to black. Like that whole fade is present there in the bangs as well. We have the snappy clips, um, one on each side, sizing straps in the back. Yes, yes. You know what this is reminding me of? This I feel like 
would be really good if you wanted to do kind of like a creative take on Cruella. Keep you on your toes, zazzy approach to Cruella. That's not her typical side to side split, but instead like a horizontal split. That's kind of what this one inspires me to do. I want to do like a Cruella cosplay. Over the years, like of, be of cosplaying for years and years, I have appreciated more and more cosplays that are inspired by characters more so than like the one for one exact replicas. I personally am more drawn to people's creative takes on characters these days and like this I feel like it's just begging for something like that. This is so cool looking. I'm feeling kind of the same way about the bangs here. I love their wispiness. Like I, this is the perfect amount of bang for me, but I feel like they are just a little bit too long. So I'll need to trim it so I can move the cap forward to cover up a little bit of this, that hair, that hair right there. Not always noticeable, like not noticeable on the brown one. But when it's like super light hair like this, sometimes you can see that peeking through. I'm not feeling so optimistic about the weft check. <laughs> we'll start with a um, flash test and then we'll jump on over to the wefts. I'm crossing my fingers because I do think this wig is inspiring to me. Looks pretty cute there. Now let's just a moment of truth but with this weft thing. I'm scared. <laughs> Wait. I don't think I can see any. I don't think I can see any, um, at least from that far away. But if there is any weft showing there, definitely better than I expected. I was expecting like a huge gap <laughs> in the back of this wig and I don't think I saw that. Okay then, all right you Vivi. Okay, I'm gonna grab the next one out of Santa's sleigh over here, hold on. All right, next up, number 13. This one looks like a Silvery white. I have no other guesses. <laughs> Ooh, it is like a snowy silvery white. Ooh. This one again, I'm kind of surprised when I pull it out that there's not some sort of like color pop in here. I feel like with the name of the color series that I like kind of expect them to be more colorful. We do have two clips inside. Okay, so now that this is on my head, I think this one is definitely silver. It's not white. It's it's very, very, very light silver. Like it's, it's silver, like when I look in a mirror, it's silver, but it is so light silver that it is like, it's teetering. <laughs> it's teetering on white, but it is like, it's silver, but it's white, but it's silver, you know? <laughs> I think the, the product photo that I'm going to put up here definitely looks more silver than it looks in, in real life. These bangs are really long on this one. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely going to have to trim these. If not, I would have to wear the cap all the way back here, which is like, let me show you, which is all the way back here. <laughs> which is pretty far back. It definitely leaves you exposed to seeing your wig cap or your natural hair underneath. It's a little risky. This one feels a little risky. Looks good there. Oh, you can see that gray color much better in that picture. Although I feel like the picture looks darker than it does IRL. It is a very, very light gray to my eyeballs here. Okay, let's check the wefts on her. I think she passes the flash test. Okay, I think it looked good. <laughs> Hard to tell. I think it looked good though. But I would say that this one of the bunch so far, it's not really speaking to me as much. Like I think it's very cute and it's 1999. It passes the flash test and the weft test. I, I'm not sure exactly what, what makes me not feel so excited about it. I don't know if it's that it's just like all one color or if it's that the bangs are too long. So like I, I'm, I'm like having a hard time being comfortable in it. I'm not exactly sure, but it is cute. It is soft. It passes those tests and it is 1999. So I don't really have anything like bad to say about it. It just doesn't spark joy as much as the others. So let's keep looking. Let's keep seeing what we got here. Ooh, color, color. We have some blue up in here, number 12. What a nice, nice blue. Can you see that? Oh, beautiful. Woo. Actually, this is like fairly similar to the blue one that we were like already looking at, the 
the watery one, I think. Blue on top, light in the middle, and blue on the bottom, similar. <laughs> they're not the same, but they're very similar to be in the same collection together, you know what I mean? This one is a little bit of a darker blue, and it doesn't have the, um, like, staggering blend of, of blues. It's more blue, blonde, blue. Should we grab the other one and see how similar they actually are? Definitely have, like, a darker navy sort of blue on this one and a cooler blonde. This one is more of a warmer blonde in the middle. And then the darker one is a little bit longer. And the curls are more concentrated at the bottom. That's a side-by-side -side comparison for you if you're trying to decide between the two of these. Ooh, this is like warmer water, this is tropical water. <laughs> this is like Caribbean water. I feel like this is like cold and like deep, dark ocean water. Ooh, scary. That's like one of my biggest fears. <sighs> Scary deep dark ocean? No. But fortunately, deep dark ocean's wig looks really pretty. <laughs> we do have the combs inside here, by the way. So holding them side by side, they definitely have differences and they look more different when you hold them side by side. But I feel like it's kind of like a, a choice. <laughs> it's a choice to put two wigs in the same collection that are blue, blonde, blue, even though they're different, but still. Like, does that seem weird? This is really pretty. Ooh, maybe they are different enough to merit having two because this looks so different than that one. It has different vibes. I think it's different. <laughs> you were just coming along like my mental narration. Lucky you. <laughs> Ooh, the bangs on this one are making me much happier, especially after that silver one like this one. Yes, sparking joy. This is pretty. My deep dark ocean. Look at that fade. That melts? Look at it. $18.99. Y'all. Y'all. Okay, let me take a, a little a little flash. Gorgeous! <laughs> it's beautiful. Now I'm crossing my fingers for the wefts on this one. Uh, again, it's a light color, so heh, <laughs> but I am excited about it, so I really hope it's good. Okay, cross your fingers here, my friends. Looks good to me, I think. I think this raises a little bit of a question here. I have a question. Is the blue only on the top layer? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Look, okay. So it looks like it's only on the top couple of wefts that has that blue in it and then the rest is just blonde underneath. That's good to know because like even though it falls really beautifully here right now, like like that just fell, oh my god, I just dropped it and it fell right into place. If you're wearing a hat or you have it styled a certain way and it kind of starts to split, you can sometimes see that the wefts underneath are not, they don't have that same fade as the top layers. If you have like an intention of like pulling it up into like a bun or something, um, definitely something to keep in mind there that is all blonde underneath. Like I'm just flinging this hair all around and it keeps falling back perfectly. The bangs keep falling like super beautifully. The hair looks amazing. This is one of my favorites so far in the whole collection. This is number 12 of the um, pampering fan color series. Dang, cute. <laughs> okay, what's next? Ooh, I grabbed this one that has some red in it. I was like, ooh, what's with these? What's this? This is number two. And it looks like black and red of some kind. Whoa, so bright. Oh, it's so bright and fun. Ooh, it's bright and fun and vibrant and whoa, look at it go. Ooh, I love this length. This, oh my God, look at the color. This is like how that black and blue one was so vibrant against the black. Look at this little patch of bangs. Oh, this is quite a different take on the black to black and red split. This is interesting. Wait a second. How are we on clips? Yes to the clips. I feel like black to red splits you see like it all the time. It's a very common colorway in wigs but you don't really see it like this, I feel like. This is a, a fresh take on the black and red. Yo! <gasps> yes! Whoa! Um, 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 look. <laughs> uh, first of all, okay, oh my god, I have several things to say. One, I love this. This is my favorite one favorite one so far. This is so cute. I love how it's like different. It's different. It's a color palette that's so common. So common. 
probably the most common split that you see. But this is fresh, it's different. It has those colors, but in a way that you wouldn't expect. It gives the split and the bangs, but then it's like the melty fade that I love so much. I love the length of it. It is manageable, it is comfortable, it is natural looking. I love that it's straight, I love this melt, I love this wig. <laughs> oh my god, wait, okay, wait, okay. I'm so excited. You know how we just did that replace or reject video, my last video? This is, I'm, I don't even have to think twice about it. This is replacing all, all of my black and red split wings. All of them. Done. Gone. This is it. This is it. <laughs> I'm so happy. This, if you, if you get one wig from this collection, which by the way is a smooth $19.99. So good. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, and I just got this sweater. Hold on. I just got this like Krampus, this Krampus Christmas sweater from Black Milk. Like, hello? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Is this my Christmas outfit this year? It, it very well might be. Oh my god. This is worth, like, this is worth at least, like, double, maybe triple the price of this wig. This is $19.99. Maybe now is the time to tell you about the discount code. <laughs> because, um, not only is it $19.99, but if you use code ALEXA20, you can get 20% off additionally to that already very, very cheap price. I'm losing my mind. Okay, hold on. This hair is $19.99 to begin with. So what is, like, I can't really do math, but like, does that make it like 16? $16? Shut up. Buy this wig. Uh, that discount code Alexa20 can save you 20% off any of these wigs or any combination of these wigs. So if you see like three of them that you like, and then it's like 60 bucks because they're so cheap for three wigs, and then you can take 20% off of that, which I don't know how to do math. Let me, let me use a calculator. Um, um, 48? Is that possibly right for three <laughs> wigs? <laughs> oh my God. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, we didn't do a flash test or a weft check because like I was just too excited. Beautiful, beautiful, looks great. Okay, let's see about the back. Looks amazing, looks really good. Look at that melt though. Like, oh my <laughs> Let's get another wig. So, we have number four. <laughs> it's a little blonde one. I am so thrilled with how this is going. It is, da 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 da. Oh, it's short. Oh, oh, I think that this, this is a style that I love from Uvimi. Uvimi makes these really adorable, cute little bobs. I think I have two other bobs that are like this. One I have is like a coppery color and the other is like a dusty rose sort of color. I'm hoping that this style is the same as those because I love those wigs. This is a very warm blonde, like almost kind of like a yellowy blonde. Should we leave Krampus on for now? This is cozy. Mm, okay, you, like <gasps> gasp, you don't have any clips. No clips, no snaps, no combs. Interesting. The plot thickens. I have no idea how to like discern if if one of these wigs is gonna have them or not. Okay, so first impressions are that the style of this wig is so cute. I love a bouncy little like wavy little bob. This is adorable. The color of it is a little bit like, it's a little bit too yellowy blonde for my personal taste. It does look cute with this shirt though, doesn't it? <laughs> This is cute cute. Maybe I do like the color. The color is it's cute. It's like a cute blonde That's like not gonna fool anyone that it's like a real natural shade of blonde, but it's cutesy It's like almost a pastel yellow sort of blonde. It's really cute though. The peek a little ear out <sighs> See how cute that looks especially with short hair mm -hmm. Super cute
good. I think that looks good. This is really cute. I feel like this is the, you know how the last one with the black and the red just felt so cool. It was like, this is some cool hair. This is like really cute hair. I feel like I feel so cute in it. Oh hey, I saw a cooler blonde, actually, number eight. So I went ahead and grabbed that. We're gonna do two back-to-back -back blondes so we can kind of compare the color a little bit. I thought that might be kind of fun. Looks like we have some curls. This one looks curly. Woo, it's super curly. Woo! This guy is so curly and bouncy, but it is short. This is another short blonde. Oh, interesting. Let's see how she looks. Okay, this one, oh sorry, is $17.99. If you want to be a little cutie buns, and also $17.99 is this little blonde one. This one I feel like is gonna take a little bit of, um, it's gonna take a little bit of messing with. Hold on, give me a second. I'm gonna finger comb these little curls out a little bit. Woo! <laughs> okay, that really wasn't that much work. <laughs> Don't be scared away by how it uh, came out of the bag. But this one I feel like is super spunky. This is like spunky hair. So here it is from the side. You can see it's like very, very bouncy. Bouncy and bouncy and bouncy. This is probably why I don't have like naturally curly hair. The universe was like, no, we do not have time for you to have curly hair and just be bouncing your curl all day long. It's precious. I like it. I don't know that it's like my favorite of the whole bunch, but it's cute. It's cute. Very cute. And I can't imagine you can see the wefts on this just because it's so fluffy and bouncy. But we might as well check while we're here. Oh, weird. Maybe it just needs to be shaken out a little bit. Bouncy. Okay, so we still have so more to go, so many more to go. Like this is crazy. This collection is huge. Next wig. This one looks like, it looks black with like a little hint of some color like streaks, like very subtle color streaks. Ooh, it's like a, ooh, slate. Is that the right color? Like a, a bluey gray, a gray, gray blue. I'm interested. <laughs> oh wait, what number is this? This is number 11. So number 11, whoa, it's long. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that for some reason. Look at that. It, this is sleek. I feel like you look at this and you're like, ooh, is it silvery blue? Or is it just like a beautiful shine on black? Oh, can you see that? Yeah. Oh, it does show up nicely on camera too. She is $19.99. She does have clips. Beautiful, good. Let's keep on keeping on. Um, okay, this is so pretty. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love this shade of blue. It is like so steel. It's steely blue. And I don't think I have any wigs that are like this kind of blue. It's so unique. This collection, like between that black and red one, that was like just freaking amazing. And like this little blue, like I feel like UVMP like brought it. They're feeling creative over there for their seventh birthday. Dang, this is so nice. This is such a nice shade. I feel like uh, as I'm moving my head around, I feel like I'm getting some shine on the top here. I don't know where that's coming from. <laughs> but yeah, we'll definitely do like a shine test on that. Do that right on right about now. Huh, interesting. So this one looks kind of shiny. This is a little bit shiny. I'm not sure why. This one would be more shinier than the others, like especially why this black would be shinier than some of the black on the others. I would imagine they're the same, but maybe they're not. Why? <laughs> That's why we do these tests. I know they seem repetitive to check for the clips, but sometimes I don't have clips inside. It seems repetitive to do flash tests on a wigs from the same brand. Helpful to do the flash test every time, <laughs> you know? Like, it is the whole point of these videos, is the whole reason why I do these, is that there's so much variation in wigs like so much now is she so shiny that i think it's not worth 19 dollars <laughs> i don't know about that that price is just so cheap i feel like a wig would have to be horrible <laughs> for me to not want it for 20 bucks this is better than a 20 dollar wig in my opinion is it shiny kinda 
But it's also a really cute style. I love the colors. With my discount, it's $16. So, I mean, I don't know. I could, I've justified a lot worse. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> So if this is your kind of colorway and you want this wig, just be aware that, that there might be a little bit of flashback, a little bit of shine in certain lighting scenarios. That's all. $16. Crazy! Oh my god, look how much that blue comes up in the back. I couldn't even see that from the front. So pretty. Oh, I love that. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> Let's see what we have next. Here's like a corally one. Ooh, you know what? I bet this would look so cute with my little gingerbread shirt. So it might be time <laughs> to say goodbye to Krampus. Krampus. Okay, so number three here is a like peachy, peachy pink. It's like a corally peachy pink, which is one of my favorite colors of wigs. Woo! Number three, what do you have for me? This is such a nice color. This is a nice color. <laughs> you know what this color reminds me of? This reminds me of the Mikey Bellamy collab, uh, the Clarice wig. It looks similar to that, and I know a lot of people were super bummed they missed out on that collection. So this is the Mikey Bellamy Clarice wig, straightened. Um, and these were like a limited run from like several years ago, like five years ago or something like that. <laughs> long time ago and um, a lot of people did not end up getting their hands on these. Here is the color of number three and the color of the Mikey Clarice wig. It's a little bit darker I guess but they are like very close. If this was a wig you wanted and couldn't get maybe consider the UV Me color series number three for the low low price of $18.99 plus 20% off. <laughs> This little peachy pink beauty, I love this color of wig. I love this color of wig. This color looks amazing on everyone and you can't change my mind. <laughs> Let's see how number three looks on. Oh, I love this color. Oh, this color is so nice. Beautiful. This, I would say, of the series that we have tried on so far, this would be the most likely to be an everyday kind of wig for me. Which, um, it's <laughs> peach, but I am a peachy girl. I just feel very comfortable, very natural in this color. Like, this color puts me at ease in my heart. <laughs> and I cannot believe that this wig is so cheap, <laughs> honestly. I don't understand. Love it. I love it. I love it. This was number three. If you are interested, I am interested. <laughs> this next wig, number five, we have, it looks like a black wig maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Brown? Brown. Is it brown? Is it black? <laughs> it's short. Oh, it's short too. Mm. Do you know what I have been needing? I have been wanting. Oh my God. I did not even know this was in this collection. This has been on my want list. It's a style I love. It's a color I love. Let's give it a little shake up. It's a little flat from shipping. I have been wanting a wig like this and it is only $17.99 minus 20%. This to me like screams daily wig. Like this is like a natural looking little bob. It's a nice deep dark shade of brown. I love the cut of it. I feel like the more I like kind of shake it up and like you see these little layers separating over here, the more I do that, I feel like it's like kind of grungy almost. Like, like entering into a grunge territory. I bet if you styled up like an outfit that was like super grunge, this hair, I bet you could, you could swing it that way. <laughs> but see, yeah, like if you clipped it up, like I wonder if you like, and really like separated out those layers. I could see this being a little grunge hair. This hair is super versatile. You could also like dress it up as a super sweet, cute outfit and have like a very adorable little outfit as well. Wear it with like normal, your normal style. And I don't think anyone would bat an eye. Like it looks very natural. The back looks good. Looks like weft free. I think because I'm so drawn towards like bright and colorful wigs a lot of the times, that I overlook some of my natural wigs. I have no, have I ever done like a fully natural wig, wig review? Have I? 
if you would like something like that. If you are more of a daily wig type of babe, let me know. We can, we can dabble in that arena if you like natural looking wigs. Let me know. Just leave me a comment. Is that your thing? Let me know. All right, so next up we have wig number one. It looks like, I'm looking at it very closely. I'm like, mm. <laughs> it looks like it might be a combo of this brown and that steely gray blue from earlier. Instead of a black and blue, this is like a dark brown and blue, I think. How are the, whoop, no clips. Very hit or miss in this collection on the clips. This cap feels way bigger than the others. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these straps down inside here to help the, uh, the cap fit my head a little bit better. These bangs are cute. <laughs> Ooh, the blue in this one is very subtle like sort of carefree and fun and if you want like a little pop of color in your hair but you want it to be subtle this is very subtle I don't think that if someone saw you from across the room they'd be like her hair is blue <laughs> you know oh now I'm scared about the flash test because we, we struggled with the other one all right you can do this you baby <laughs> deep sigh of relief <laughs> Uh, it seems pretty okay to me. I, I think this one is a go. I think this is a good one. Oh, look at that blue that goes all the way up. Oh, fresh. Cuteness. I love that. Ooh. There's more in here than I thought. Ooh. Oh my god. For me, this is so cute. This is number one. It is $18.99. Okay, so I believe this is number six or <laughs> number nine. Um, let's look it up. So this is number six, it is a white bob. It is a solid white little bouncy bob. It looks like it has some little curls up here at the front too, which are real cute. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that one on. Woo! All right, clips? No, no clips again. Okay, Oh, <laughs> it's pretty cute. This is, here, maybe I'll scoot over for this one so that you can see me against the black. Hi, there are wigs everywhere, so I can't scoot too far. Ooh, actually I might be able to go this way. Yeah, that's better. The amount of wigs right off camera here is, whoa. <laughs> you don't want to know, you don't want to know. But yeah, so over here, we can see a little bouncy ball. I feel like this one lands kind of like in the middle for me. It's not like filling me with the, uh, the excitement that some of the others have. But it's, it's cute, it's cute, you know? This one has a little bit more of a defined curl rather than the bobs that have kind of those like flowy, wavy, fun motion waves, curls, things. <laughs> I feel like the ones that are more defined like this uh, feel a little bit more like stiff, I guess. I mean, it could just be that I'm wearing a gingerbread shirt, but it feels sort of like a Christmas, Christmas event hair, you know? Like throw a little Santa hat on, be a little Mrs. Claus. It's cute though. Oh, uh, say you have cats without saying you have cats. <laughs> it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Looks very smooth, very white and very smooth. Wefty wefty, wefty wefty. I think the wefts look good. It's not like too exciting. It's, it's, it's cute, but it's not like exciting. It's not inspiring, you know? Wanna see what's next? Ooh, we only have three left. Oh my god. Which one do you want to do next? Let's save the pink one for last because, hmm. <laughs> Thoughts? This one has blue. Let's look at that. And number nine. My room is a mess. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, ooh. This is another silver and blue. Why are there so many silver and blues in this collection? This one is a short little bob version of silver and blue. Like, I feel like she is the little sister of this one. <laughs> Ow. It does have clips. It does have adjustment straps. And oh, it's so cute. It's crazy how many different styles of bobs, like, 
just that exists ever <laughs> but especially just in this collection like we have the wavy bob we have the bob with the single curl at the end we have our little Christmas elf bob that we just took off and then we have this bob it has its little shape it's a little bell shape which is so cute so cute it's very like structured and 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 like it doesn't have a ton of movement in it I love that they managed to get a full like color fade in such a small like surface area of hair like there's not a lot of hair to work with here and they were like silver to blue hello <laughs> this feels like icy and chilly and like after we cross over the warm cozy Christmas vibes and we're in like January February March with like a knitted beanie with like a puff ball on top and a big coat and you're going ice skating I don't know where this like uh, this fantasy came from I, I haven't been ice skating since I was like four uh, but that's just what this hair makes me imagine it's the journey it takes me on <laughs> so specific it's so cute. Like the side profile is so cute. I love that. Let's look at the left while we're over here. I love that color melt. <laughs> I love it. And just like the fullness down here out of the bottom half of the bob, it's so cute. This is adorable. I love it. Precious. It is $17.99. I would say now that I've looked at the um, the product page over here, that the blue seems a little bit lighter in person than it does in the product photo. That's my only note. My only thing to know. Okay, we'll save the pink for last. So let's jump in here to number 10. All right, so we have another like deep dark brown, it looks like. Whoa, this one's long. <laughs> this one looks like the big sis of this one. This little cutie, if you recall. I think they're the same color. If not, they're super close. And no clippies. No clippies in this one. Oh, pretty. <laughs> Ooh, I don't even mind that this one is pretty similar to some of the others because this is just pretty. This is so pretty. This might be another one of those for the replace or reject kind of series because this is just a dark brown wig. It's not like the most like groundbreaking wig, but this is a very, very pretty flattering version of a dark brown wig. <laughs> I love the bangs on this. I think um, of some of my other dark brown wigs that are kind of a similar length, similar shade. They have like big, thick bangs. I love these little wispies. I think this is gonna replace some of my wigs, you guys. And, and it's $19. That's bananas. Like this looks natural on me. This looks very like realistic hair on me. We should do a flash test as I'm like, wow, my real natural hair is beautiful. We should make sure that she doesn't shine like a firework. Wow. Uh, yeah, wow. Replace on many fronts with this UV Me wig that is $18.99. I gotta say, I wouldn't expect like a brown, a solid brown, like natural style wig to be one of my favorites in the whole like haul. I love it. <laughs> Looks fantastic. I am a huge fan. I think this one also is very safe. If you like dream of wearing wigs, but you're just like in your shell, you know, and wearing like a vivid, bright neon wig with pigtails and curls for days is just out of your comfort zone. Or honestly, the majority of wigs on the market are over $20. Like this is like absurdly low. Um, if most wigs are out of your price range or if you've never worn a wig before and you want to kind of just dip your toe in but you don't want it to look too unnatural i think this is a great starting point it's not too poofy it's very natural the color is beautiful it's not too shiny the bangs are cute like i am yes <laughs> stamp of approval like you have my support give it a go give it a go and if you don't like it it was only like 15 bucks instead of like 80 which a lot of wigs are we have one final wig for today for the Pampering Fan Color Series number seven. Oh my god, wait! Cuteness! We have number seven as the last wig of the day because it's pink like my heart and it's number seven like the seventh anniversary of UVV. Look at that, stars aligning. Love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. So let's jump in to our last wig. 
of the Pampering Fan color series. We have pastel pink, already speaking my language over here. <laughs> and it is a bob, it looks like, which you're also speaking my language. These things are literally all over my room right now. <laughs> Oh, 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 babe. Oh, babe. It is this, this, this is the wavy bob that I love so much. The loose, fun, happy, wavy bob. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, and no clips or combs inside. Nothing to be seen in here. Let's pop her on and see how our last wig looks. I love this brown one. I can't believe how much I love it. Well, this is the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> um, okay, so cute. <laughs> the bangs are a little long. I'll probably want to give these guys a little trim. For now, we'll do the thing where we scoot it back a little bit. Actually, like, this isn't too bad. If we can cover up my wig cap right there, might be, able to, might be able to get away with just kind of pushing it back a little bit. I love this color. I love these fun, bouncy little waves. Bouncy, she's cute. I love this. I love this. I love this. I think it's just something about these just feel they just feel right Like they just like actually now that I'm thinking about it We'll get to like final thoughts and everything but just thinking currently right now There were no wigs in this collection of 19 wigs That I was like, ugh, this is awful. This is terrible. I hate this wig. None There was like maybe two that I was like these are fine <laughs> But like, none that I didn't like, none that had any huge issues, and these are all under $20. Okay, let's finish talking about this one and then we'll, we'll go, we'll, we'll get to our, our final thoughts. Uh, well this is cute as heck. I am, I am just a smitten kitten with this little pink bob. This is so cute. Alright, I would not be super surprised if this one was shiny just because of the, the, the pastel pink synthetic material. We're gonna find out. Yeah, 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 okay. She's pretty shiny, she is pretty shiny. But she's so cute, she's still so cute. I can overlook it. Uh, but if you can't overlook it, by all means, these two pictures are what she looks like with a flash. I love the, this style and I love the color of it so much that I'm kind of willing to take the L on the, uh, the shininess test, but Okay, well, let's check the wefts. Let's check the wefts. Because if it fails all of the tests, it, maybe not, but like, this is so cute. Anyway. Okay, she's also a little wefty. You know what? I don't care. I love it. I still think it's so cute. You know what we'll do about that? that Christmas hat. There we go. Pom pomless Christmas hat. There we go. So that is all 19 wigs in the Pampering Fan color series. What a journey. We saw so many wigs today. Uh, you can find all 19 of these wigs on UVB's website. They also have a bundle of all 19. If 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 you saw if every wig you saw in this video was like a hit, 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 you can get a bundle of 19 wigs. It's a lot of wigs. 19 wigs is a whole lot of wigs. I will of course have this linked in the description box. I do have a discount code, Alexa20, which will save you 20% off any wig on UVMe. This collection is exclusive to UVMe. They made it celebrating their seventh anniversary. So congrats again on seven years, UVMe. And thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate ya. My final thoughts on the overall collection. There are several like hits in here. That black and red, I, I, you saw <laughs> what happened to me when I put that on my head. I bounced out of my chair and ran around. Like, I think that's my favorite. That black and red is just so good, but there's so many hits in here. The peach pink is so good. Those browns are all so good. I would say that like my biggest like about the collection is that there were like several repetitive colors throughout the collection. The blue and the blonde or blue and silver and also the the dark color with that steel blue there was two of those there was a few just brown ones and I feel like if you're going to make a collection of 19 wigs called the color series I would have loved to see more pops of colors more different color combinations instead of repeating the same colors a, a few times and it being the the color series I 
thought there were quite a few wigs in here that were like natural wigs and I feel like those also were like slots that could have been like you could have gotten more variety in that 19. Does that make sense? Now does that make some of the natural wigs less cute? No it does not. <laughs> It does not. Some of my favorites were some of the natural ones today. Just an observation about the series as a whole. And that price range, they are they are giving you a gift with that price range. They are they are giving you their birthday present <laughs> with that price range. So if you have been interested in getting your hands on one of these, now is the time. Save yourself some dollars, babes. Or throw it on your Christmas list. Give your loved ones a little break. They're like $15. Oh my God, thank you. Okay, okay. I think that will wrap up today's video. I, I, If I don't see you before Christmas, I hope you have the merriest of all Christmases. I do want to get a little video of my Christmas look this year. Uh, put up before Christmas so you guys can see it. I have just the cutest little outfit I want to wear and some, some fun makeup ideas. I'm feeling inspired and just like... I'm enjoying the season, so I'm hoping to get a Christmas video up for you as well. But this year's been weird, so if I don't see you before Christmas, I hope you have a beautiful Christmas and that all of your Christmas hopes and dreams come true. I'm happy. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Love you. Bye!